Aquarius. I feel like um, you're navigating a lot right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amira. Welcome, welcome back. I feel like you're navigating a lot right now, Taurus. Um, and so let's see how this message can provide you with some support, okay? Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. As I said, I'm Amira. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. My website is insightfulhealing.com. We're chilling today, this week, this afternoon. <laughs> it was too bright for me, okay? So this is the vibe right now. All right. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Taurus? Yeah, you're navigating a lot. Okay, that's what I got off the web. <clears throat> hmm. Shapes. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Failure. I guess that I pick up on um, more of an internal thing than anything let me just pull a card on this before we move further yeah this may have to do towards with yeah, it's more of an internal thing. Like, I'm seeing the, high, the higher event, okay? It has to do with somebody's, like, innermost beliefs. And, um... Yeah, the wheel. <laughs> okay, are you dealing with the Sagittarius? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Alright, the wheel of fortune... Five of Cups, there's that Five Energy, and the Nine of Wands, yeah. Okay. And the King of Wands. You may be dealing with somebody here who feels as though they have made a mistake um, in the past, okay? Somebody feels like Somebody feels like, I don't know how to explain this, <laughs> okay, I'm getting the imagery of a paper clip that's holding too many papers. I'm not sure why it's coming through this way, okay, yeah, maybe because we're coming out of Libra season or you're, you, you have a significant Libra placement or, like I said, Taurus, this has a lot to do with, I, I just heard credibility, this has a lot to do with values and, like, contracts, like, down to the gut and core of things, okay? But it feels like someone, um... All right, there's some kind of, I'm, I'm also getting to something about a like privacy invasion. Maybe somebody went too far looking at your documents or I don't know, something about this. Can I get one here, please? Thank you. Yeah, the five of pentacles is here. Okay. <clears throat> and the strength card? I'm getting something was barely enough. Okay, 55. All right, I, f 
feel like this is in the in the past or this has already occurred for a lot of you but readings general timing is fluid right yeah, anyway, you're navigating a lot. That's only one thing of the many. <laughs> All right, but failure. I understand that a mistake is, is only an opportunity to learn. So maybe you recently failed at something or you're feeling like you fail. Yeah, perseverance, the nine of wands. All right, or this Sagittarius person. Self-esteem. Yeah, so this is affecting somebody's self-esteem. Some recent failure or... But failure is like... It's, it's perceptive, right? The Wheel of Fortune, it, 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 it wheels. <laughs> it's not always a fortunate thing. It's a cycle, it's karma, it's power and control, okay? There is some kind of power conflict or power struggle that's going on. And like I said, for a lot of you, this is more of an internal thing. Do I let go of control? Am I in control? Do I need control? Hmm... Did I fail if that was never my responsibility to begin with? There's a lot of like Saturn energy, okay? Maybe you have Saturn in Sag here. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, you're going through a lot, <laughs> you know? But, but if like, if your Saturn is in Sagittarius, then that may give you some clarity as to how you're navigating all of this a lot, whatever that is, okay? You have worry coming out. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, yeah. Somebody's understanding the need to let go of control, also envy. So this turned into the Five of Swords, right? We started off, we saw the Five of Cups come out. I'm disappointed. Um, I have regrets. Maybe I could have, should have, you know, so on and so forth. Um, now we're at Emmy. <laughs> Emmy says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. All right, show me this worry, please, for Taurus. What's this worry about? I thought something flipped. Okay. Who's worried here? Whoa. The two of wands. here is worried that they're gonna make the wrong choice again and wind up having to essentially repeat the same lesson over again yeah again your Saturn energy okay or this person you're dealing with yeah the devil it's like somebody's worried that what happened before will happen again because there's something about this that's very familiar or something about maybe this person you're dealing with even or you've done this before period okay it's not the first time, okay? The Nine of Cups. All right, but yeah, and the Five of Wands. Now here's this um, power struggle, okay? The internal power struggle. You are going to get what you want here in Taurus, but in the midst of it, you are also navigating a lot. You're going through this Five of Wands energy. We've seen the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles already in your reading. We're just waiting for that Five of Swords to show itself. I feel it intuitively, so we don't even really need it. Um, it's showing up here with this Envy energy, okay? yeah here you are the seven of pentacles and the four of wands it's like just when you just when you think you're ready to give up on something you're overcoming it here here's justice all right let's see what else Okay. Perseverance 
own family. Or one more place for Taurus. Whoa. That was patience. Yeah, energy. So there may be a need to have patience in a particular situation here, Taurus, which you're good at, all right? I feel like you've been having patience with that seven of pentacles showing up. You've been in that space. I feel like you've been extremely patient as well as um, continuing to give something your all. <laughs> all right? I'm getting something about a plumber, all right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that's about yet. But anyway, discipline. Exactly. You've been extremely disciplined with something here. Okay? And because of that, you are being rewarded. You have, you have fear. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So let's go deeper into this discipline card. Hmm? Shall we? Let's pull from the DBT deck. Discipline for Taurus, please. Okay. So somebody may be increasing their discipline here, their sense of um, self-discipline, self-control. Maybe taking up a new habit, changing their behaviors, there could be a need for this, all right? There may also be a need here, Taurus, to face your fears in particular. If there's something that you've been afraid to kind of tackle, address, or try, now may be um, the time for you to do that, okay? And kind of stand on your word with whatever whatever that is, okay? But discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. You have improved relaxation. A distress tolerance card coming out. So this is indicative of something in your environment that's creating stress. We've already identified that, right? So relaxation, you have the R of improve. Relaxation is a human need. What do you do to relax or what do you think you could be relaxing? Plan to engage in some of those relaxation behaviors every day, remembering that learning to relax takes practice. Now, take some time to be mindful of your breathing, to tense and release the major muscle groups, or to simply sit in a quiet place. R E L A X. Okay, so maybe you're looking forward to some relaxation for it okay or this is what you are improving upon in particular your um, level of discipline with your self-care okay what else thank you spirit you have give use an easy manner okay your relationship um, excuse me interpersonal um, effectiveness is what it's called. Use an easy manner. So this is with regard to um, dealing with other people. Okay. I'm seeing somebody who um, gets upset. Maybe you. Maybe some something's upsetting you or like really frustrating here, annoying even. <laughs> All right, it's like getting under your skin in a way, or maybe somebody has a way of getting under your skin, or um, this is somebody else, but the energy here is of somebody who does their best to kind of like <laughs> take a step back, take a time out, maybe literally step away from the situation and return back to it, okay? And needing to have self-discipline, self-control in that space. Um, but yeah, so use an easy manner with others, it says. Be decadent, excuse me, be decent. Decadent? Why would I? Interesting. Be decent with others, showing consideration and using polite manners. Avoid being heavy handed or overbearing. There's no need to be so intense in most situations. Yeah, precisely. It's like, why create stress if there is none? Is kind of what I'm getting here. So do your best not to. 
um, provoke, right? Do your best not to add. Because when we're in that space of somebody giving it, you know, instinctually, we want to give it back. Um, avoid arguments and let others be right on minor inconsequential matters that do not to be debated. Yeah, one more. Una más, por favor. Appreciate this clarity. <clears throat> All right, I feel like somebody needs space. Okay, yeah, touch is what you have coming out. Another distress tolerance. I feel like Taurus, this, this, because it continues to read as somebody who um, needs a time out from. I hate to put it that way, but it's like, okay, I'm at level nine right now, so let me step away from this situation, take a breather, all right? I'm, I'm seeing somebody, like, take a cigarette break, okay? So, yeah, something is stressing somebody out here. Maybe they need a break, time out, step away, or more space of some sort. There's a need for energetic space so that um, someone can kind of breathe, e breathe easy, okay? This could be affecting this realm for you. Most people have needs related to touch. Ask someone for a hug to hold hands or just snuggle on the couch. Learn to give yourself a facial, neck, or hand massage. Put on your most comfortable clothes or get under a soft and warm blanket. Pour yourself a bubble bath or take an extended shower. Being mindful of your body's connect connection with the water. Yeah, it's like what? Taurus, you and touch are besties, okay? Get back to the basics, okay? Get back to your core, your root, that the thing that um, makes Taurus feel all young and warm and, and, and comfy inside, okay? I'm a Taurus woman in Venus. I know the stuff, <laughs> all right? I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I appreciate you and your energy exchange. And once again, don't forget to like the video, okay? Subscribe, check out my website, book a session with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll see you next time.